Hi, um, welcome back to my vSphere project. This is part 15 of my uh, of my demo. Um, this is about fault tolerance, which I which uh, I know that it will not work because um, there is a compatibility guide that um, VMware uh, need to be able to run because they need some kind of new uh, features on the CPU. And if you want to know which one is compatible to the fault tolerance, is is uh, by going to this website. You can just search this one on Google or Bing, and say you want the cheapest chip chip cheapest uh, Intel uh, Intel that uh, CPU can run is the the, the server uh, the Intel Xeon Core i7 server. And if when you click search here and it will give you all the model that it can run or it's up to you if you can buy this one separately and just build your own server and see that if it's going to work um, my works my workstation or desktop although it's i7 it's not Intel Xeon i7 so it will not work however if ever you have a server that is really compatible with fault tolerance you can do nested on it mine is nested on a workstation 7 but it's n it's not a f really a compatible it need a c really a compatible fault tolerance so um, if you have a really a one host you don't have to buy another 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 one which is expensive if you have two two two, two server that is re uh, relatively new that will be expensive um, what you can do is put a nested one so you 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 have one uh, physical one and then you can run uh, another nested one on or not or another or uh, you have a two nested uh, hosts on it and you can just follow this one to bake it on my uh, works on my uh, uh, configuration right now the requirements on fault tolerance is to have uh, HA uh, DRS will work as they said but they said that Paul tolerance is a new uh, baby from VMware so don't enable it um, the tweak on the the website I gave you this one you can search this word and it will give you this site um, you go to the options and this one is supposed to be automatic and the general is uh, when you click the configuration here the replay where's that replay this tree is supposed to be true and this one is false so let's, let's put it true and it's supposed to be like that. I know. I don't know why it's there's a cap stack and then it's a lowercase. And click OK. This VM is torn off. And another requirements on um, on the configuration side is that uh, on the networking switch, you need to have uh, fault tolerance enabled. Um, this is just a testing, so I put the B motion and fault tolerance together. But in a production, of course, there's there's heavy traffic. You cannot you, you have to separate that. It's just I'm 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 lazy doing it right now. So for the all the ESX uh, three and fault tolerance need to have at least three. I it will run on two, but what's the use of uh, putting a fault tolerance on a two? Because whenever you have uh, three ESX and one failed. So um, only one will be protected on that um, on that on that BM. So um, let's try to run it, although it will fail. But we will see the deep. Uh, we will see couple of minutes that it will run. So the first thing is to turn on the fault tolerance. So click yes, and it's like that. It's completed. Now you will see another window here, and it's about fault tolerance. Right now the BM is off, so you see that this is this BM is not protected, and the secondary location is ESX1, but that BM is located on ESX3. 
and let's try to in try to run it and it's like that and it's like that the VMware tool is still not running come on at least run for a couple of seconds and then it's like that it's starting and then it will show the secondary uh, host okay yes x1 and then it's almost complete except this too there's a lot there's a value on this one the bandwidth in the lack step interval and I think it's just like that <laughs> it, did, it didn't really run uh, I it's keep turning on and off oh turn up again I guess that's that's the last one <laughs> and there's a alert here okay let's go back to the to this one is supposed to be like this when it's running properly the message is like that okay, there's a log bandwidth of 1 kilobits per second and the lag step interval is blah 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 so this will conclude the, my demo of poll tolerance which is not, not working what you can do is search it on YouTube and look for other poll tolerance that is really working on a server um, I think my next uh, video will be about uh, sys uh, system preparation of Windows. Later. Bye.